Hello everybody. Today I'll give you guys a quick lesson on charge pumps, uh, which are basically circuit devices which will take an input voltage and give you an increased output voltage. Um, this particular circuit you see here is a special case of a charge pump called a voltage doubler, and like its name suggests, you take its, your input voltage and essentially you want to have double the output voltage. And this can be accomplished quite easily using four electrical components being two diodes, which you see right here, and two capacitors, which you see right here. Um, in the end, once you actually go through the circuit once, you'll see that it's actually quite easy, uh, and it's quite simple, and yet very effective, because it has a wide variety of uh, applications, such as H-bridges, as you have maybe heard in one of my other videos, um, as well as many other applications just where you need to have a voltage increase. Um, in the end, uh, just for the purpose of this tutorial, we will say that our input voltage is an AC source of 12 volts. And we'll take a look at the AC source with this side being positive and this side being negative. Because obviously, if we have an AC source, it's going to have a sinusoid look something like this. Um, it's obviously going to go from positive 12 volts to negative 12 volts. So We'll look at the AC source right here for now, where it's positive 12 volts. And what's going to happen here, you'll see, is that current is going to flow from the power source to this junction here. We will see that this diode is now off because it has an improper bias uh, for it to conduct current, meaning that no power will be able to flow through this diode at this point. And however, this diode actually has a proper bias and is forward biased and therefore current can flow through it, which it will. So power will come from this source, go to this junction, flow through this diode, and come over here to where C1 is and it'll charge it up to 12 volts just like the source. And because you need to complete the circuit, power is going to flow from here down to here and then the current will eventually re-enter the power supply over here. So now when you look at these two terminals with respect to each other, you're going to look and go, but there's only 12 volts there, and you're exactly right. Um, and don't get confused, because in the end, we've only now looked at only half of the sinusoid. So now, when we progress along the sinusoid to this point down here, we'll notice that our bias across our terminals is going to change, and we're going to have a positive here and a negative here, meaning that current's now going to want to flow into this power supply, and that means this diode is now going to be on, and this diode is going to be off. So, as power current is going to initially come from the power supply, flow up here, over to here, where it's going to now charge C2 to 12 volts. And then power's going, or the current's going to obviously leave that bottom plate, come back through this diode, and then back into the power supply. And you'll notice that this capacitor is still going to stay, or is going to get left being charged at 12 volts, and that is because current cannot flow back in this direction through this diode because it would be reverse biased, meaning that this capacitor is stuck being at 12 volts. So now when you look at both of these terminals with respect to each other, you'll see that there's actually 24 volts across them, and that is because if you think of these two capacitors as batteries in series, you'll see that 12 volts plus 12 volts will give you 24 volts, so boom, we've got exactly what we're looking for um, in terms of the circuit we built. So, this is, a, like, as you can see now, is probably a very easy circuit to follow. There's also a million ways you can, well, not a million, but a lot of ways you can uh, build one of these circuits. Um, you can use, like, full... Uh, wave rectifier bridges and the whole bit. For example, here's another way that you can build this exact same circuit in a cascade style. Um, and if you use the same kind of analysis that I just showed you, you'd see that once again you're going to come out with exactly double the voltage. So, uh, you can also then keep adding more stages onto these voltage doublers that, and you'll start noticing that you can actually start getting, say for example, three times the output. Or if you add another stage, you'll get four times the output. And because of this, you can see there's actually quite a bit of app, or it's quite versatile in the way that you can actually get 
however many times the voltage you want. You know, if you had, say, 10 stages, you'd be able to actually get yourself 10 times the voltage with respect to your input. Uh, one important thing to note, though, is that obviously in real life, diodes do have a voltage drop, usually around 0.7 across them. So you're never going to see the full four times um, your voltage out with respect to your input in the case of this circuit. And it's just because of component losses, which are unavoidable. Um, with that, that's pretty much all there is to these uh, kind of charge pumps. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to send me a message or leave a comment below. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video, and hope you found this video uh, helpful.